Hi, in this video I will show you how to enable self-service password reset for Active Directory users using the Centrify Identity Service. By default, the Centrify Identity Service can have uh, basically uh, cloud identities and on-premise identities. Uh, those on-premise identities can be Active Directory and, uh, and LDAP. However, by default, when an Active Directory user wants to log into the cloud service, if they were to forget their password, uh, by policy, they don't have the ability to reset it. Notice that there's an empty, um, basically an empty field all are out here. Uh, that becomes a little bit um, of a challenge because some of the times users forget their passwords and get locked out and so all, all that nice stuff. Uh, I'm going to show you how to enable this. By default, and this is the administrator side, uh, the global auth or whatever policy you have has self-service password reset disabled. So notice that I'm going through policy settings and account security policies. Then I'm hitting password reset and this is not enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and enable it. There's a lot, of, a lot of options to choose from, but some of the key things here is are you going to allow this from a unknown browser? I don't think that's a, you know, uh, you know that's that's very kosher. So I would check that. Also, the step up authentication mechanisms are the ones that you may have the, enabled by policy. This can be the mobile authenticator with the Centrify app on your iOS or Android phone, uh, a phone call for a visually impaired person, text or SMS, or even answer a security question. On the back end, uh, typically uh, the password reset is performed with a, an account, an AD account on behalf of the user. And Centrify provides a lot of flexibility because you can use the cloud connector. And the cloud connector is the on-premises component that enables AD integration in a very smooth way. Or you can use a service account. I personally don't like service accounts, so all you need to do is identify your cloud connector and then you know, just give the permissions and I'm going to walk you through that. Um, so th notice that there's another types of, um, you know, uh, you know, password reset policies that you can set up, like, you know, how many password reset resets allowed within a window, you know, you know, you know, what is the capture window between, uh, you know, password resets, right? So because this is a demo and I tested this before, I'm just going to, you know, set this really low. And, um, you know, uh, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and press save. So the next thing I need to do is identify my, my cloud connector. And the cloud connectors are typically, um, you know, you can view the cloud connectors from the settings tab. And you can see that I have two connectors, one that is not even active, but my member one is that is active. From that, I have the information that I need, and I can talk to my AD administrator to say, um, we need to delegate control for this computer account called member and I'm gonna make sure that I check computers so member can actually um, perform reset passwords and set the you know force password and at next, at next logon bit okay that's all I need to do from a delegation perspective. And since I'm doing it with the Cloud Connector account, and computer accounts in AD change their passwords any, every 28 to 30 days, then I don't have to worry about the service account and managing the service account. Um, everything seems to be fine on my end. Um, typically what you would do is restart the, um, um, uh, the proxy. I already done that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it for a ride. So I'm gonna go back to my Safari here and I'm going to restart again. And it's trying to go, it's trying to do IWA. That should fail. So let's just not do IWA and just go straight here. Um, so I'm going to do Fred Thomas at So right here, notice that they forgot password. Um, link get lit up that means that the policy is in place um, notice now and I'm gonna put my my phone on the side here notice now that uh, you know the um, 
the end user um, is being prompted to do step up authentication, right? So with step up authentication, you, you have the options that I outlined before. I'm gonna do the mobile authenticator. I happen to have the user's phone in front of me right here, and there's a Centrify app. So if I do mobile authenticator, I'm gonna be notified here, do you approve or not? So I'm gonna go ahead and approve. And now I have the ability to reset my password. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it. And, you know, that allows me to basically, you know, do my self-service. So I already changed it to a well-known password. And even notice this, I did, no, did not use uh, you know the proper password policy when I set up this password and notice that is e even being enforced so this is also another test that you know this solution will continue to enforce the group policy set up for your password policy in terms of complexity expiration and password reuse in my case I tried to reuse a password therefore I'm not gonna be gonna be allowed to do it but I hope that you uh, saw that this capability uh, it's available it's just not enabled and uh, I'm hoping that this was helpful to you.